Hey campers, tonight we're making mahi and shrimp tacos and I'm not using the blackstone tonight. We're using the charcoal grill, which means Jason gets to do the work. We're also going to show you how to make this delicious mojito um, and that'll be in a separate video. So be sure to watch both and enjoy them and here we go. I'm Christy. I'm Jason. I'm Aubriella. And, and this is... is... And we, we are... I, I Want to Camp With You. It's a beautiful night. We're looking for some I fun to do. Hey campers, I think I want to... On goes the shrimp. <laughs> Part of it. Part of it. We got a tiny charcoal grill because, you know, we're camping, camping so we're not going to bring like a ginormous grill. All right, so the shrimp are done. We're taking those off. We're gonna plate those, and then we're gonna throw on the mahi. And on goes the mahi. Already smells delicious. And I forgot to mention, we're also making street corn. We'll be back. Okay, so the mahi's done. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna get all the fixings together and we will be back to show you how to put it together. And I promise you, you'll love every minute of it. It's delicious. Okay, campers, so we have the shrimp and mahi tacos. I'm getting ready to show you how to put them together. And street corn. Uh, we'll do the street corn first. So we grilled up some corn. Ideally, it would be darker than that. Ideally, where Losing charcoal. We only have so much charcoal. Okay. So this is Mexican crema. Um, I mixed it up myself. It's got a third of a cup of mayonnaise, a third of a cup of sour cream, um, like a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of chili powder, some okay. chopped up cilantro, and then I added a little water to make it a little bit more, um, you know, squeezable. Anyways, so we're going to put that all over the top, if I can get it to come out right, okay, and I'm going to actually turn it so I can get it on all sides, okay, and then some, well, yeah, we'll do this first. Grated cheese, you can use cojeta cheese, which I've used before, which is like a Mexican crumbled cheese. Um, but that was just not what I wanted to bring on the camping trip. So I just grabbed my grated cheese and some more chopped cilantro. You know that I love cilantro, so we're just gonna put that on top. I have made a mess on the table. I'll clean that up later. But anyways, so there's that. Now for the taco. So you can do um, corn tortillas or flour. Jason likes corn and flour on these. I actually prefer the flour on these even though on other tacos I normally would do just corn. But anyways, so we're going to take, um, I actually like to mix both. So I'm going to take a little bit of the mahi. Sorry folks, that was me killing a fly. <laughs> <laughs> take a little bit of the mahi here. Um, and all we did was add a little bit of the Zatarain's blackening, blackening seasoning on there. And we're going to take a few shrimp. I'm going to throw it on the table. I like to mix them both. Sometimes I just do mahi, sometimes I just do shrimp. It's really good with both. You can do either way, whatever you prefer. I have chopped up some mango. So we're going to put that 
on there too. Mango goes really good on tacos. I know it sounds crazy, but it's really, really good. Um, and some avocado. I don't mix these in with my pico because they can get kind of mushy, both the mango and the avocado. Um, so I prefer to leave them out and do it separately. Also because I love avocado and Jason, he likes it, but not as much as I do. So I just leave them separate. It's okay, folks. I yeah. feel it takes away from the flavor of things. Yeah. So I it doesn't made, taste bad, it just absorbs the flavor of things around it. I made my own pico um, to make this size, which is a quart, right, and a pint. Um, so it's one whole quart and one whole pint. I'm going to use the pint later for burgers. But anyways, I used five Roma tomatoes, one whole, I think I had a Vidalia onion, you can use white onion, you can use red onion, you can use whatever you want. Um, one almost whole bunch of cilantro and three jalapenos. I seeded them because um, we're not like huge hot fans and some lime juice and some salt and pepper. Um, so yeah, you can just, you can put this stuff on anything. It's really, really great good. on burgers. Yeah, it's really good on burgers. That's what we're doing on Sunday. But anyways, so top it with that. Got some fresh lime. Squeeze that over top. I don't think I'm gonna taste the corn for you, but I will taste this maybe if I can get it together. If I can get my act together. <laughs> mm. Really good. <clears throat> okay, so Aubrey has decided she wants to taste test the corn for you. So she's spinning it around, make sure she gets all that stuff in the nooks and crannies. Give it a taste. And where'd you get these? I'm help you do it. oh the corn dishes Dollar Tree of course <laughs> all right give it a taste let us know she has a loose tooth so you'll have to forgive her <laughs> is it good Aubrey, can you just tell us if it's good? It's a good babe. <laughs> yes. Okay. She says it's good. I need a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So enjoy. So anyways, there you have it. Shrimp and mahi tacos with mango pico and street corn with Mexican crema and cilantro. Enjoy. Campers, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the like button and hit that bell.